at the butterfly. Uh, today's the, the 13th, I think, October. Just been out uh, picking trash up along the wall this morning, um, checking to see if anything happened during the night that we missed. So I wanted to talk about trafficking. I wanted you to help. I wanted to help you understand what's going on here, um, because it's about the kids. Now you've got your kids that come through as unaccompanied minors that go to sponsors. A lot of these kids, their sponsors are traffickers, illegal aliens, whatever. The cartel's got its hands full in it. So a lot of these kids get used. Um, they get taken up to the Amer America, um, used there, sometimes recycled through, sometimes Border Patrol seen these kids a few different times. So what we have going on now is uh, a lot of people went into Border Patrol. We had a drop off of like 180. We've, we've had some people come through. And, uh, and then we had a family come through and I think all except for all the men got sent back to the cartel. So basically they're given back to the cartel. The cartel knows what they got to do. They got to com camouflage these guys and sneak them through now because you can't send them through legally and get them processed because there's, they're too overloaded for that. So the best way to send them over legally is to have them with a child. So they need to go find themselves a kid, which they have plenty of. Right over here, we've got stash houses with kids and women. There's uh, rape and abuse going on. We got different cartel. We got turf wars going on. It's ugly on this side. They're bringing it over here. Our government is making it to a place where uh, you can't even process them because there's so many coming through that they're just basically saying you better sneak through because we don't have time to process you and grab a kid make sure you have an unaccompanied minor with you that way you're in charge of them as a matter of fact we had a family come through the other day with a three-year-old and a couple of men were all trying to daddy this little girl you know they're like she's mine she's mine because they were all afraid they were going to be sent back to the other side of the wall and uh you know i can't imagine contending with the cartels anything good especially i'm going to go back and do it again but um you have an understanding of, of what's going on. So we stand, God places us strategically and we stand because every person matters, every human being matters, and this country matters. And it may seem bigger than me, but I don't question God. If he says go, I go. I'm, I'm actually happier where I'm supposed to be than, than trying to uh, live frivolously in my own because I somehow like to get myself in a lot of trouble. <laughs> But that being said, please understand um, these kids are being used, abused, trafficked, recycled. Um, they're going to uh, families that are sponsors that are a lot of them that are trafficking them, using them, pedophiles. Um, you do not have to be DNA tested if you bring a child over with you. They do not DNA test you. You don't have to be vaccinated. You don't have to be DNA tested. Really not a lot needs to happen. But if they're overloaded and they're stressed out, they just send them to the other side of the of the wall these men are um, the cartel decides what's going to happen all right well we'll get you back through dress them up in camouflage have them go out in the dead of the night for example send a decoy family over here for border patrol or VOP to, to um, you know welcome in <laughs> while they're sneaking criminals in over there which it would be great if we had more people to deal with the criminals but our big issue is to get these women and children especially these families to safety um, that's our biggest issue. That's that's what matters uh, to us the most. Um, Border Patrol's doing amazing. They're working their butts off. They're very um, few per mile. I think there's like 10 Border Patrol agents per 60 miles. Um, they are they are overrun, and uh, and they have a lot of red tape. They're not allowed to do a lot. So um, bless our bless and pray for our Border Patrol. Uh, VLP. We need more people. The more people we have, the more we can do. It does make a difference. The more people you have, the more you can do. God will work through who's here. He always does. It's amazing the miracles you see down here. God is on the throne. You see some ugly stuff. Humanity and evil can be ugly, ugly, ugly. But God, God's got it. So God will place our feet where they need to be. We'll be doing what we need to be doing. And uh, he provides. So if you can at least get down here, um, we got a cot, we got food. We'll help you. We'll, uh, bring a vehicle it would be nice uh, even dogs criminals will not cross if there's dogs weird they'll send families through but but they there's 
scared of any kind of dog, so, um, anyway, if you feel led, I will leave, um, information as usual, uh, number you can call, and Border Wars AZ on Telegram is going to, uh, give you information too, so that's, that's also in, in the, uh, description, um, thank you for, um, being involved for helping. Thank you for all the, the people that have come out and helped so far. Thank you to Border Patrol for their hard work. And uh, God bless America. God bless you. And real quickly, make his little handsome face known. Of course, as usual, I got this fur baby with me. There he is. There he is. Say hi, Solo. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> You're such a puppy. There's a belly. There's a dirty belly. He's he found some a little mud puddle to play in. So, but that's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Okay, have a nice day. God bless. Bye.